The next two guests both found fame as kids in projects that developed cult followings. Let's take a look at the roles they're most famous for. Noah Hathaway started out in the 1978 series Battlestar Galactica as Boxy. What's going on? Before finding fame in Never Ending Story. <laughs> Sadie's McNabb battled Christina Ricci and her spooky family in Adam's Family Values. Help me! I'm dying! I can't swim. Before going beyond the grave in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You know, I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention this to anyone. Oh, it's good stuff, isn't it? Yeah. From Never Ending Story, Noah Hathaway, and from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Mercedes McNabb. Join good us morning. now. Good Great morning. to see you. Got good cute kids, you. weren't you? Oh, well, thank you. What happened? <laughs> so cute. How thank old you. were you when you were in Battlestar Galactica as Boxy? Six years old. Six. I didn't have any front teeth. I had lost, just lost my teeth. <laughs> getting my big ones. That's how young I was. Uh -huh. No, yeah. did you choose acting or did it choose you? I mean, how did you end up in that role? Well, my father was a, an acting teacher when I was a kid, and I think that's how it started. I, I was three, I started doing commercials. And, and at six I did Battlestar and I guess the rest is all history, I it, guess. Is it just a fun world at that stage, Mercedes, or is it pretty, you know, baffling to have all these directors and assistants around you? Um, I think when you're that young you just don't even know what's happening and it is more just fun than anything else. It's like make-believe. So um, it was a blast when I was young doing it. Because you, you were 13, weren't you, in Adam's mm -hmm. Family Values. Yes. So what do you remember about that? early job? Um, well, we did film um, in the national parks. So we all had to camp, basically. So the yeah. movie was us camping, but all of us kids actually did get to camp together. So, so we'd fun. have slumber parties, and so that's kind of the stuff I remember, not the day-to-day -day work, but mm -hmm. the slumber parties after work. <laughs> awesome. and, and later, of course, you went on to two massive shows, the Buffy and then Angel. Angel yeah. It's, um, I, I guess, you know, it's a dream in one way, but do you feel like it, it's taking you to where you want to be in your acting career? What, what's your dream these days? Um, I'd love to be on another sci-fi television show. Uh, it's so much fun to be able to play a vampire, yeah. and obviously everyone loves vampires. I don't know that I need to play a vampire again, but um, something in the kind of dream-like, surreal, you know, well, life would be awesome. Um, just because you can do so many different things. Mercedes, I mean, the fans of, of Buffy and Angel and these kinds of shows, they're unlike normal fans, <laughs> aren't they? I mean, they're so incredibly passionate, yeah? <laughs> yes, passionate is a good word, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they haven't given up on us. I mean, there's been so many other... There's the Twilights and the Vampire Diaries, all these other shows, and but we still are fans. We get new fans all the time. People watch all the DVDs, so it never ends. It's awesome. Uh, and no, they know every single detail they of everything you've ever it done. Do. It's crazy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and uh, it doesn't stop. I'm still working. i got a couple movies coming out. I, I retired for about 15 years. Years and, and Actually, I was going to ask you about that because you had an injury, didn't you, while you were shooting the Verending story? Yeah, before we started shooting, I had a really bad horseback riding accident and the horse fell on top of me and, and crushed a vertebrae. And uh, I, before we shot a frame, I spent two months in the hospital. So, uh, yeah, it, it was, uh, and we shot for a year, so it was a long... Long it was a long haul. shoot, but it was wonderful. It was one of the most wonderful experiences of my life. I'll never forget it. And that was because the director, sorry, Karen, was the director wanted the actors to do their own stunts? Absolutely. Right? Yeah. He was very realistic. You know, Wolfgang was, is a very, very, uh, method uh, yeah, type. very method director. Method director. And then he wants, mm. you know, he wants his actors to do everything. And so we had a lot of writing, a lot of stunts, a lot of hanging from trees, you know, 50 feet up. So, it, you know, it was a lot for a 12-year-old. Yeah. Well, what did you go on to do after that? How did you feel in the next 15 years? God, I, I worked, uh, I did a bunch of movies. I worked till I was about my early 20s. And then I just, I was just over it. I needed a break. I worked from 3 to about 23. And I just wanted to be a regular human being for a while. And, uh, and so no, I just y split. <laughs> you were a dancer too, is yeah. that right? Yeah, I started dancing when I was, I, I was super hyperactive as a kid. And so my parents put me in everything you could think of. and. And I started tapping at four, and I danced with Michael Jackson Fantastic. and Gloria Estefan, and and uh, and then the injury kind of, you know, sidelined me. So, mm. uh, you know, but I, you know, I was a martial artist my whole life, also, and mm. you know, just try to stay. In you shape went to now. Amsterdam for a while. They love martial arts over there. Um, actually, my ex-wife and I, we we uh, opened a tattoo shop there. I would started tattooing like a couple of years back, and uh, I still do. Yeah. And just kind of. Is like this your own work?
No. I was gonna say, <laughs> you had to do Not, yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I do Tanda. some of them, but you do? yeah. Actually, did you have a wedding ring? Was your wedding ring tattoo? It was. Yeah. It's, it's was. not anymore. Okay, it was. it's covered. <laughs> <laughs> the, the girlfriend made me cover the ring up. <laughs> Tell us about Supernova because this is a convention, obviously, that's going on in Sydney and Melbourne. Uh, I think we've Sydney, got all, Perth. Sydney, Sydney, Perth. Perth. We've got all the details on our website anyway. But yeah. tell us about about it. Um, maybe the audience would know more than we do. I don't know. We just landed. Well, but, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a big sci-fi fantasy convention where, where, you know, people get dressed up and they meet, you know, their favorite actors and celebrities and, and comic book writers and artists. And it, and so it's it, like it, the Australian equivalent of Comic-Con. Exactly. Right. Comic -Con, exactly. Which yes. goes on Absolutely. in America yeah. every Absolutely. year. Absolutely. Yeah, we're, we're premiering our, this movie we have at Comic-Con this year, so... Okay. Have you got a really busy schedule or have you got time to have a look around while you're here? Um, actually, we're just doing the convention for Saturday and Sunday, so we're going to stay for a couple of days in between and do the bridge climb and all that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, you're going to do that. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and, and this new film, Sushi Girl. Yeah, mm -hmm. Sushi Girl. All right. Mark Hamill and Tony Todd, and we have this amazing cast, and uh, should be released in the next month or so. I'm so glad you guys could come in today because Friday is our pub trivia day, oh. too. Oh, so do you want to hang <laughs> around and Absolutely. play a bit Absolutely. Of Australian? Might be a bit of Australian oh, trivia, oh, but no. No, I'll <laughs> throw some questions your way. Thank don't you. Yeah, be kind. Oh, thanks, Sonia. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and now here's Janie.